Hi, my name is Alana. I'm a placement coordinator for the Global Work and Travel Co here in Australia. Uh, today we're here at the Global Headquarters in Surface Paradise, Australia and we're sitting down with one of our lovely travellers who has come through on our working holiday program. So thanks for coming to chat with us today, Chris. It's all good. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name's Chris. I'm from Manchester in England. I'm 24. I uh, just finished my drama degree at Liverpool University and yeah, I'm just here to travel and enjoy myself really. Wonderful. So tell us a little bit about what you are doing in Australia at the moment. Well, I came here initially just to travel and work to sort of get some life experience and just, I mean, I grew up in Manchester so yeah. the primary <laughs> reason I came is for the weather nice, and always. for the just relaxed atmosphere mm -hmm. and just a different change of life, different change of lifestyle, you know. Sounds like you're enjoying yourself so far. Very much so, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. And what about your friends? Are they jealous? Super jealous. <laughs> They're stuck at home on the M60 in the fog and the rain in the morning. I wake <laughs> up and send them a picture of the sunrise over the ocean and... <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Jealous is the best word for it, probably. Cool. So, how did the Global Work and Travel Co assist you in getting your way to Australia? Well, they made it super easy for me. Um, you guys helped me sort out my tax number, they yep. gave me a phone when I landed, yep. gave us an initial orientation when we landed, and it just made everything super easy so I could just concentrate and enjoy myself and getting myself set up and comfortable here. And it was just really super easy is the main thing. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. So now that Global have placed you on the beautiful Gold Coast, tell us what you're doing for work at the moment. Well, I'm working for a sales and marketing company, specifically Wonderful. to do with a charity, yep. helping with fundraising and stuff like that. Here on the Gold Coast? Here on the yep. Gold Coast, cool. yeah. Cool. So, uh, yeah, it's really good at the minute. I really love my job because I'm able to help people make a decent wage. Yes. And then meet new and interesting people on the job as well. Yeah. It's amazing. Take us through a normal weekday for you. Okay, so I wake up at about 7 o'clock, watch mm -hmm. the sunrise over the ocean. Lovely. Get myself ready, have a stroll down the beach to work, <laughs> literally on the beach to work, which yes. is amazing. At the minute, I'm currently working in shopping malls. Yes. So we set up on a little stand and then we try and stop people. Hey, how are you? Would you want to sign up with us? Yes. All that kind of stuff from about 9 until 5 normally. Yes. Thursday's late shopping day, but yes. that's a good day where we can get a lot of people to sign up as yes. well, so it's all good. And then uh, come home, kick back with a beer, watch some TV, watch the footy and just relax really. So how did Global help you land this job? Well you guys set me up with a phone interview with a lovely guy called Barry. Mm -hmm. I spoke to him for about 20 minutes on the phone, he got to know me, I got to know him. We set up an interview for the next day which was really nice and quick because yeah. I wanted to get into a job as soon as I could do and that was really easy yeah. to do. Yeah. And then I had an actual proper training day slash interview the day after that and then I was starting work. Success. So it was all easy in that. <laughs> but even if it wouldn't have gone as smoothly for that, you guys would have helped me set up other jobs. You were constantly looking and giving me awareness of where there was other jobs, what I'd have to do to get them, just keeping me informed and letting me sit by the pool and just take the phone calls in <laughs> the game basically. It's just easy. Yeah. I can't stress that enough. It was just how easy it was. You can actually have a proper working holiday rather than a working stressful holiday. Yeah. Because a lot of the backpackers I saw when I was staying at the hotel, yeah. they were throughout all the day they were looking online for jobs, they were stressing about trying to find yes. rooms, they were stressing about whether they could stay in general, whether they yeah. had the tax number sorted out, yeah. all this stuff. I was sat by the pool with a drink, just answering the phone. <laughs> you guys called me and saying, hey we have a job ready for you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Easy as that. So Chris, you're telling me that you're earning this awesome wage. How does it compare to what you were earning back home? Oh, it's amazing. It's yeah. actually, it's almost like a proper living wage. Oh wow. I can earn, I'm comfortably earning more than enough to have a good time and actually save some money and have a yeah. high standard of living as well. Yeah. Much better than back home. How far away do you uh, live from where you work? 10 minutes walk down the beach. Oh. I literally walk down the beach to work. It's amazing. Guide us through kind of what Global did for you to help you get that accommodation. Well, I got in contact with you guys and then you had a selected list of internet advertisements yep. for rooms that look promising for my situation and stuff yes. like that. I went and arranged some viewings and then I got into a house within a week, so it was really easy. So you live 10 minutes away and you get to walk on the beach yep. every day and you live in surface paradise and get to watch the sunrise most mornings from your view mm -hmm. and and it's all cheap as well <laughs> and I'm it's only, cheap i'm only paying in english pounds i'm only paying about 100 pounds a week rent 
Wow. So for a hundred pounds a week staying on the beach, that's yeah. well worth it in my yeah. opinion. So what kind of work did you do whilst you were living in the UK? I was just working in retail, just yes. literally working behind a till, scanning people's shopping, basic kind of job. It was pretty monotonous. It yeah. was a shift work. I could do a shift from 10 until 10 sometimes not earn nearly as much money as I would get here doing the exact same kind of work. How is the nightlife here in Australia for you? It's great. It's really fun. Yep. It's sort of similar to back home in the sense yep. that you go out, everyone gets dressed up nice, you go into a yep. nice club, go to a few bars, but the general vibe is a lot better because yeah. of the weather and just because everyone's... Everyone's happy? Everyone's so happy all the time. <laughs> yeah, everyone's always got a smile on the face. You can just approach people much easier, you can approach girls much easier yeah. for myself especially. <laughs> Chris, what's your favourite thing about Australia? Um, the weather, the probably, weather. definitely. You know, it's, uh, it's much better than back home. Have you thrown a shrimp on the barbie yet? I have. And did you wash it down with a Foster's? No, because Foster's <laughs> is not a thing over here. Did you have a good experience with the global staff when you came through and did your orientation and things like that? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It was yourself who gave me the orientation <laughs> and you were all Thanks. bubbly and nice. <laughs> you gave us the welcome pack, you gave us the bottle opener and pen drive thing, which is yes. becoming very useful. Wonderful, I'd like to hear. All the information we needed was readily available. You're yes. always available on the phone for us to contact you and yeah. stuff like that. And you always know, you just with helpful information, where to go, what to do. You guys just sort of seem to be genuinely really interested in what we're doing and if we're having a good time, which yeah, is the main absolutely. thing. absolutely, yeah. I did want to ask you also, how did you hear about Global? Okay, well, I was just doing some internet research to find what would be the best way to go to Australia, what exactly I wanted to do, would I have to find a job now and sort it out before I went out. Yep. So when I was looking for all the different companies online, you guys were very near the top of the Google hit list as well, which is always a good thing. Wonderful. <laughs> and then I was just looking through the information online, you know, you can, various different programs you can come over with you guys and it just seemed like the easiest way to do it. And I'm all about doing things easily, so uh, <laughs> That's good. it was just a no-brainer. I got in contact with you guys, you got in contact with me within half an hour of me sending the initial email, so oh, that was a really good sign as well. Okay, cool. What would you say to people who are still in the UK looking to come to the land down under? Do it. What are you waiting for? Do it. <laughs> Paradise is here, it's waiting for you, it's a better quality of life, it's a better standard of weather, the people are nicer. I can just keep going and going and going, but the longer I'm sat here talking, the less time you are not getting it yourself over here. So <laughs> come now before it's too late. Do you have any personal advice for them? Um, just to be open to opportunities, say yes to everything, you know. Yes. Because it's, me personally, what this trip is all about is just experiencing new things, meeting yes. new people. And if you're going to be the type of person who'll say, no, I don't want to do X, I don't want to do Y, then you're not going to have as good a time as you could do here. If you fully immerse yourself in this place and you just let yourself get involved in everything, you're going to have a great time. Wonderful advice, I do have to say. So, mm -hmm. saying all of that, would you uh, recommend the Global Work and Travel Code to further travellers? Definitely. If they want to have an easy time where they can just concentrate and enjoy themselves and doing what yes. they want to do, 100% yes. So there you have it guys, my name's Alana, a placement coordinator here at Global Australia and I look forward to meeting you when you arrive. The only question is, what are you waiting for?